But we have someone here in Austin, Texas, that is going to be presenting his presentation live. His idea stores government records on the blockchain with a nice PDF and a seal. Let's give it up for Phil. He is here from Austin. Phil, come on up. I'm going to check this for you so you can see how that works for you. All right, Phil. Hi, my name is Philip Dingra, and I am the founder of Titan Seal. Uh, Titan Seal puts government records on the blockchain. Um, now, what does that mean? Well, we're called Titan Seal for a reason. We're trying to replace what are called paper seals, or actually, I just learned in government parlance, is called a wet seal. So if you get like a short-term rental license from code compliance in Austin, they'll give you a piece of paper and they'll fix a gold foil seal in the bottom right-hand corner. The question I always ask is, what security is that? That's really security by graphics. Um, in the Renaissance, they used to have monks make very intricate wax seals, and those were hard to duplicate. But this, it's kind of pointless. So the question I always ask is, where's the digital version of that? And that's how I came up with the idea for Titan Seal. Now, Titan Seal already works, um, and it works on Ethereum. However, we ran into a little problem a month ago when the price of Ethereum transactions went up a lot, and that kind of broke our business model, which was to make cheap digital seals. And so we started looking at other blockchains that could serve our purposes. And here came this Politea challenge right in my hometown of Austin. And it works. And didn't take too long to do it. Um, didn't have to make too many code changes. And I'm going to show you a little demo. So let's say you have a marriage license. Uh, this is a sample document, but just pretend it's a marriage license. And you want to get it digitally certified. And so I'm going to just click and drag it here. And what it does is it adds a second page to the PDF that has a digital seal. Now I'm going to save this right here. And so how is that seal protected? It's actually similar to that demo earlier about how they were verifying uh, software, uh, uh, the integrity of software using hashes or checksums. Um, and here we have a link to the Decred Explorer that has a hash of the document that we just signed. And so I'm going to go ahead and verify that real quick here with this handy tool from Mac. And let's see, the hash is 98DA, and alas, the fingerprint here is 98DA. Now, if it's your first time seeing something like this, you might be impressed that it's kind of magical. But if it's, this is actually sort of a common um, example in the blockchain space called proof of existence. Um, what is unique about our implementation is that we solve um, a usability problem with creating these digital seals, um, which is that, so if you think of this computer science problem, how do you put the hash of a document and get the hash of that document? It's impossible because it creates infinite recursion. But with the blockchain, what we can do, and with Politea specifically, we can create a proposal ahead of time, attach it into the document, and then put the hash of that document inside of the proposal itself. And this allows us to create this more elegant solution. If you remember back in the 90s or early aughts when people were getting gung-ho about sending emails with PGP signatures, they would send you like three different things. There's a signature, there's a receipt, and then there's the message itself. Well, blockchain gets rid of uh, one of those pieces of the puzzle by putting authentication on a chain. And then this little solution gets rid of another piece by putting it all in one file. Um, 
there's something satisfying about getting a license or a document where the seal is actually on the document, and I believe this solution is it. Um, this is all working on testnet. Um, I have Politea running in the background. Um, the technique I'm using, and there's a couple ways you could do this with Politea. You could, um, but the one that was easiest for us to use was to use the metadata uh, field um, because it allows you to create a proposal and then when bef then at the act of and, and create a proposal, get a token, put the token in the PDF, and then before publishing the proposal, you can insert metadata for hash or any piece of data, and so that's how you preserve the linkage. Um, and yeah, that's all I have. A very short presentation. Thank you for listening. Okay. Phil, since you are here <clears throat> with us, and I'd like to, because we haven't got to do this uh, with anyone, because sure. you're a real person. Thanks for being here. I Thank appreciate you. it. Um, <laughs> judges, I just want, you know, Jimmy, if you can give some thoughts about this presentation or possibly all the presentations that you come to mind. Um, can I ask a question about this particular one? Yes. Okay. Um, so, uh, if I understand correctly, if you have two pages on this. The yes. first page, you take the, the hash and you put it into the metadata field, but the actual hash of the whole thing is on the second page? So, or we, is it the other we create the two-pager first mm -hmm. with a link to the proposal. And the proposal mm -hmm. itself doesn't have a hash of the document yet. Mm -hmm. it, so, it's like in... If you use key Ethereum or something, you can create an Ethereum wallet without actually doing anything first. And so mm -hmm. that this whole document is created. That's step one. Then the hash is created, and then the hash is attached to the proposal itself. So the proposal doesn't change. The link to the proposal doesn't change. Mm -hmm. But the content attached to that proposal I changes. Mm -hmm. And uh, currently, this QR code, if you were to use your QR reader, uh, that, that's a, a glitch right now. It's, it's going to Etherscan or whatever. But that, that should go to the user who created the proposal. And so only proposals created by that user should count as being authorized. I see. OK. Any other questions? Any judges, comments? Um, I, I'm, I'm still evaluating this. Right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, Phil, we're going to let them finish, and they've got a little bit of scoring to do, so we want to thank you guys. Give it up for thank Phil you very much. from Austin. Yeah. Thank you.